In the world of facts and reality, is it possible to fall in love with robots? Love for robots is not the same as objectophilia, which is a strong attraction to its specific innate objects. Robots should be on par with humans by the time they can be human partners. Experts define love as an attraction or strong affection felt by people in a romantic relationship. So will people be able to celebrate Valentine's Day with robots as their loved ones? In the coming decades, holding synthetic hands while expressing our love for one another over a candlelit dinner may become the norm. Hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insight in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Robots would never complain about strange fetishes or things that you might be afraid to confide in your partner. Only time will tell if we will fall in love with artificial characters like in movies or if AI partners will be our undoing. In today's video, we're exploring some of the female humanoid robots that might become your future partner. Stay with us till the end. Asimo Asimo is a humanoid robot created by Honda in Japan in the year 2000. Honda began developing humanoid robots in 1986, with the first prototype appearing in 1993. On October 31st, 2000, however, the corporation unveiled Asimo, its first humanoid robot. Furthermore, ASIMO is an acronym that stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. Furthermore, the name was chosen in honor of Isaac Asimov. The robot is on display at the American Gallery in Tokyo. The humanoid robot is 130 centimeters long and weighs 54 kilograms. A 51.8 volt lithium battery with a one hour backup is also included. A processor, stack die, memory cell, and signal converter are also included. Asimo, a humanoid robot, can recognize walking items, stances, movements, sounds, appearances, and surroundings. It can also distinguish between appearances and mouthpieces. It's intended to help boost the population. It has the ability to dance, run, jump, and play soccer. Asimo is an ambassador for an automatic world, and he has earned a variety of social impressions in order to impress humans with robotics. After 2000, Honda worked hard on the robot, but in 2018, the company decided to halt further research into the technology in order to maximize the robot's lifespan. Jaja Jaja is another robot designed to look and act like a real woman. She can communicate with others and has a distinct personality. Jaja also has advanced features such as facial and emotional recognition. It's capable of recognizing faces and speaking in female tones. A team of more than 70 scientists and engineers worked on the robot for three years. It's designed to be a personal assistant or companion for the elderly or disabled. Jaja has been referred to as the world's first realistic humanoid robot. This is due to Jaja's design, which unlike other humanoid robots, is intended to look and act like a real person. The Jaja team says that robot is still a work in progress and they're constantly improving its skills and abilities. In the future, the team plans to add more features to the robot, such as the ability to walk and run. Jaja is currently only available in China, but the team behind it has stated that they're working to make the robot available globally. Nadine Nadine, a female humanoid robot, was created by Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. She's programmed to look and act like a human, and she can express a wide range of emotions. Nanyang Technological University in Singapore created Nadine, a 50 kilogram advanced social humanoid robot, into you. Nadine is 140 centimeters tall, with realistic features like brown hair, hazel eyes, and a fair complexion. She also possesses artificial intelligence, AI, and is capable of recognizing faces and emotions. Her creators intend for her to help humans interact with machines and eventually take on tasks like caring for the elderly or teaching children. Those who have interacted with Nadine so far have been very complimentary. Many people find her lifelike appearance and behavior unsettling, but in a good way. She has even been featured in several news articles and videos. Nadine is a powerful robot, but she's not without flaws. Some people think humanoid robots are creepy and will eventually replace humans in many jobs. Others are concerned about the ethical implications of developing lifelike machines that can think and feel like humans. What are your opinions? Are humanoid robots like Nadine taking things too far? They are, in my opinion, fantastic. We appear to be on the verge of a new technological breakthrough and it's always exciting to see what happens next. 
We're not sure if Nadine and her ilk are going too far. Some people may feel uneasy living and working alongside humanoid robots, while others will see them as just another tool to help us live our lives more comfortably. Nonetheless, we're looking forward to seeing how they'll evolve and what future applications they may have. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll all have a robotic assistant. Sophia Sophia is the country's first robotic inhabitant. Hansen, a Hong Kong-based company, created Sophia, a humanoid female robot. On February 14, 2016, the corporation revealed and created this humanoid robot. In 2017, the robot was granted full Saudi Arabian citizenship, making it the first robot to serve as a citizen of any country. Sophia was designed to resemble the inventor's wife, Audrey Hepburn. It also has all the glamorous features such as a slender nose, high cheekbones, porcelain skin, a captivating smile, and stunning and vivid eyes. Furthermore, her eyes change color in response to light. Sophia's ability include observing people, paying attention to their faces, and maintaining eye contact. Sophia's most distinguishing feature is its realistic skin and ability to mimic over 60 facial expressions. Throughout the film, Sophia the humanoid robot exhibits social behavior, interacting with society and questioning humans. Sophia was designed to be useful in healthcare, customer service, and education. Sophia is also capable of drawing, coloring, and creating illustrations. Hansen creates nine more robotic siblings after Sophia. Junko Chihira Junko Chihira, a new Toshiba-developed android, will make her debut later this month at Aqua City Odaiba, Tokyo's waterfront commercial and leisure district. According to Toshiba Corporation, Mitsubishi Jisho Retail Property Management, and the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. On October 23rd, Junko made her first appearance, greeting visitors at Aqua City Odaiba and introducing herself in Japanese, English, and Chinese. She'll return to work in December at a new tourist information center that will open soon as part of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government's Tokyo Waterfront Oma Tanashi Hospitality Promotion Project. Junko will be ready for the second time to provide tourist information on events in Aqua City and other parts of Odaiba. She'll once again communicate in Japanese, English, and Chinese. Junko Chihira, Toshiba's successor to last year's Aiko Chihira, incorporates Toshiba's speech synthesis technology and can currently speak three languages. Junko will warmly welcome all visitors to Aqua City. Toshiba will refine Junko Chihira further. The next step will be to provide her with a speech recognition technology by 2017, allowing her to respond to tourist questions in Japanese, English, and Chinese. The company intends to help foreign tourists, the number of whom is expected to rise in the years leading up to the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and Paralympic Games. Erica When you watch the news now, you get the most up-to-date information from a human news anchor. What if I told you that in a few years, the news anchor could be replaced by a robot? Surprise! In Japan, a robot named Erika recently started sharing daily news on a television show. She was created by Hiroshi Ishigura, the director of Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. Erika is one of Japan's most intelligent humanoids, capable of excellent speech. Unfortunately, she's unable to move her hands or walk. Only she has the ability to interact with humans and change her facial expressions depending on the situation. She has 15 infrared sensors built into her eyes that can detect any movement according to the specifications. She also has speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technology, allowing her to track different faces in a room with ease. She also has 45 degrees of freedom, which allows her to move her face, neck, and waist, as well as show various facial expressions. Do you think these female robots can replace a human partner in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.